Hello! <laughs> well, hey everyone and welcome to my uh, Tuesday blog and it's the 1st of December and guess what? Guess! No, no, guess! I got fired. Man, those are cool credits! So yes, I got fired this morning and I'm now sitting on the unemployment line looking for a new job. To cut a long story short, I might have angered the boss just slightly on Monday morning by uh, calling him a few names I shouldn't have, but uh, I wasn't out of line and I was a bit angry because, well, they were screwing me over with pay. Anyways, I have uh, gone to the legal authorities in this country and they have uh, advised me on what to do. Um, as this progresses, if anybody wants to know anything, just send me some comments, send me a private chat and I'll let you know, um, whatever you need to know if you've got some grievances with a company you're with. Uh, it's, it's a crap thing to kind of just, you know, have a job one day, walk in and the next thing you don't have one, but I kind of feel good about it and I think big things are ahead for me and yeah, let's just move forward with it. On with the show. My drink for next week, if I'm still unemployed, will be a loaf of bread and some athletic spirits. <laughs> and moving on, away from the serious bit, sorry about that guys, had to vent, had to let the guys know where they stand, and uh, wow, I actually do feel a bit better. So pro wrestling's been around for years, and yes, the guys get a bit of, uh, of uh, fake blood on them, they fall in barbed wire, which looks very fake, they land on hard boiled eggs and roll around on hit each other with ladders. I've never gotten the ladders thing. But anyways, I'm, I'm straying off the topic. What do you think a Japanese wrestler would do? Because they don't want to do the old things. They don't want to do what everybody else has done. So what do you do to spruce up your routine? How about using fluorescent lights? How about we bring a few fluorescent lights tubes in it and we bash each other with that? I mean, let's just forget all about the wrestling. We'll wear, wear wrestling outfits and whatnot, but We'll just bash each other with these tubes and cut each other to slices. Good job! So guys, Jane Austen died of tuberculosis. Not hormonal disorder. Duh! So in the news, giant jellyfish have invaded Japanese waters and these fish are huge. I mean, you're looking at 2.2 meters in diameter and they weigh up to 300 kilograms. I mean, that's a big mother. Now, it's still a mystery how and why they've grown this big and why they've invaded the coast of Japan. But my theory is that Gold's Gym might be pumping a lot more than sewage into the seawaters. Check out the video down there on the links bar and uh, let me know what you think about these massive creatures. In fuck Godzilla, I can see the new monster flick's gonna be giant jellyfish. <laughs> In other fishy news, a giant shark that could be up to 20 foot has uh, been spotted off the coast of Australia after another great white got caught up in one of the shark's nests. Nests. Sharks have nests? Whatever, there's a giant motherfucking shark out there and it almost bit another great white off. Okay, check out the links, moving on. So in entertainment news, Kiefer Sutherland, star of uh, 24, is in a spot of trouble after headbutting some fancy schmancy what fashion designer in a Manhattan club. Now is it bad of me to say that I think most if not all fashion designers deserve a little you know a, or maybe have their penises burned? I can think of a few other people that need their penises burned too. You know who I'm talking about. So that was my Tuesday blog. It was a bit boring, a bit serious, uh, but I hope you enjoyed it and I'll be back tomorrow with more hijinks because technically I'm unemployed so I have all day again to plan these things. And a friend of mine today had a valid point because on Monday I ranted about how I wished I could be on holiday again and well, technically I'm back on one. So I'll leave you with these words from my wise friend in South Africa. Be careful what you wish for. Good night. Bye-bye.
Oh, and one more thing. Tune in to tomorrow's show where I'll be trying to do the entire blog with uh, Patrick Stewart voice. <clears throat> Good luck on that one. <laughs>